Well, good Friday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great holiday weekend, and hopefully you're getting where you're going safely. And please don't forget the reason why we have this um, weekend for uh, the veterans who have made the ultimate sacrifice for us, who are no longer with us. You see a veteran out there, make sure you thank them for the work and things they have done to keep us safe and free. So um, this week's OTAs are in the books. And I have to say that the biggest disappointment that we have, if this season is going to be a success, we need to get an impact that we didn't get last year from last year's rookie class um overshown seems to be becoming the real deal he's put weight on he seems to be faster the acl injury seems to be in the rearview mirror he is ahead of schedule and he looks like he's going to be our weak side starting linebacker and making our linebacking core even better than it was last year which was not good so we see that we're going to get an impact there. We know that Mozzie Smith, of course, is dealing with the soldier surgery and is putting weight back on and going back to his true position of being a one technique. Um, we still have to wait and see once the shoulder is completely healed what his impact will be. But we feel that it's going to be definitely bigger than what it was last year where he did not get on the field that often. The final piece in here that we're hoping to get a boost from, and I hate to say that the Cowboys just seem to not have much luck when it comes to second-round draft picks. I was hoping that Sam Williams and Luke Schoonmaker would begin to change the narrative on the second-round picks. The Cowboys, for the most part, have been butter when it comes to first-round drafted guys. You can look at all of the pro bowlers and all pros that they have drafted over the last 15 years in the first round. You can, uh, to a man, with the exception of maybe Morris Claiborne and Taco Charlton are the only two that you look at and say they didn't hit on with the player that was really good. Um, and for the most part, that is way above average. The second round, not so much. And unfortunately for Luke Schoonmaker, He's dealing with a hamstring issue right now. Now, I guess the hamstring issue, I guess we could look at that as opposed to plantar fasciitis that by the time training camp gets here, he's got two months to let this thing heal. But thus far, injuries have been the biggest um, problem for Luke Skinnmaker. He was injured all OTAs last year. He was injured during training camp, and his impact was pretty much nil. And you have to start wondering, is this going to be the exception or is this going to be the rule with him? I want to go back because this is crazy when you still think about the success that they've had. In first-round picks, you think of Des Bryant, you think of Tyron Smith, you think of Travis Frederick and Zach Martin and Tyler Smith and, of course, Micah Parsons and things. The list for second-round picks has not been good. We can go back, and I'm going to go back here, and we'll show you how few um, good hits the Cowboys have had. We'll, we'll just start with Marty B., Martellus Bennett, 2008. Um, he ended up having a decent career, just not with the Cowboys. Um, there were more problems growing up um, than anything else. He settled down later in his career, but it wasn't with us. Sean Lee was a great pick. The only problem was injuries basically derailed his seasons. Um, he was injured when they drafted him out of college, and his knee, they really basically found out about four years in that his knee should have been worked on well before, and he just did not reach the potential. One of the strongest minds and wills in the game, but his body just could not hold up. If his body had held up, he would have been a Hall of Famer. Bruce Carter, not so much. Um, just didn't do anything. Tight end Gavin Escobar, no. Not much for the Cowboys. Went on uh, to Miami. Had a decent career, but nothing to write home about. And then you get to Demarcus Lawrence. Now, D-Law, 
You can't argue with that pick. D Law gets the knock that he doesn't have as many sacks as you know you, you look at as most defensive ends, but is one of the best run stopping defensive ends out there. And so that's been one of the bright spots. I'd say him and uh, and Sean Lee are the best of the two right there. After D Law, we drafted Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory, who should have been a first round talent. Had all the talent in the world, but dropped because of off the field issues of basically failing the drug test at the combine and never ever lived up to the potential. Jalen Smith, injured when we drafted him, some thought that he would never play football again, had one great season in 2017, got paid by the Cowboys, but unfortunately the drop foot from the uh, knee injury was just too much, and he could never really plant and be that impact linebacker that you needed. A woozy cornerback, famously Drew Pearson, um, with a speech in Philadelphia. Um, high expectations to be a great cornerback, and just never was it. Connor Williams was a, a good offensive lineman, never great. Um, did tear up his knee this year in Miami, shifting to center, is still a decent player. Um, one of the better picks that we had, Tristan Hill. Tristan Hill had attitude problems with the coaching staff in Florida and um, had to sign a basically a pledge that he would show up and do what he was supposed to do. Tristan Hill never did much for us. Diggs. Now, here's where you got one of your other big winners, okay? Trayvon Diggs, of course, you know, the pick magnet, incredible cornerback. So, looking back, you got Diggs, you got Demarcus Lawrence, and you got Sean Lee. And I guess you could say Connor Williams. Now, after that, we had Boss Man Fat, who's still in the league, but has not been anything as far as the Cowboys go, had the incident off the field and so on, uh, being in the car where somebody shot out the windows and killed someone, uh, he was not charged with anything on there. And that brings us to currently where we sit, where I have high hopes for Sam Williams getting an opportunity this year to do something, and then there's Schoonmaker. And, of course, we have Marshawn Nealon. I don't know... Excuse me. I've got a bit of this sore throat here, so it kind of gets a little dry. I don't know what it's been or the reason behind it, but second round picks. <coughs> for the Cowboys have just not panned out. <coughs> Excuse me again. So... Schoonmaker has some time to try and get this hamstring together, and hopefully it will work out in the end. All right, good people. I'll see you tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. Peace out.